Welcome to the next session of finite element analysis. In this session, I am taking up a numerical on stress analysis for CST element. Evaluate the stiffness matrix for the CST element shown below. Coordinates given are in mm. Assume plane stress condition. Now, this is given because we have used the equation of plane stress for calculating the stress. E is given, nu is given as 0.3. And the thickness is given as 1 cm. Now, when I look at this problem, this is a triangular element. Node 1, 2 and 3 have the coordinates given to me. And the nodal displacements for these nodes are also given. Now, U1, U2, U3, V1, V2, V3 is given. So, I can say that this is a 2D element analysis in X and Y direction. I have to calculate the forces which are acting on the body. Now, when I say forces, I mean reaction forces. And I also have to calculate the stresses in the element. So the first thing that I would be doing is writing down the coordinates. I have x1, y1 as 0, minus 40. I have x2, y2 as 55, 0. And I have x3, y3 as 0, 25. Now I can very easily calculate the value of beta 1, beta 2, beta 3. We already know the formula. It is y minus y term. This is 1. So I'll have 2 and then I'll have 3. 2, 3, 1, 3, 1, 2. When I solve this, I get minus 2.5. I get 6.5 and minus 4 as the answer for the beta values. Next, I'll talk about gamma 1, gamma 2, gamma 3. This is negative difference of x terms. One, two, three, two, three, one, three, one, two. When I solve this, I get minus 5.5. .5 0 and 5.5 as the answer. Now, if you observe carefully, I have solved all of these in centimeter because if I convert into any other unit system, it becomes difficult for me to solve. So, I am using centimeter as a unit system. If you want, you can use any other unit like meter, mm, whatever you want. Now, since I have calculated these values, I will also calculate 2a, which is 1 x1, y1, 1, x2, y2, 1, x3, y3. Now, these values are known to you. So, you can just substitute here. I get 1, 0, minus 4, 1, 1 1.5, 0. And I get 1, 0, 2.5. When I solve this, I get the answer as 35.75 centimeter square. Now, this is the value of 2a. So, when I calculate area, which if you remember, I will be requiring in the equation of stiffness, this is 17.875 centimeter square. Next, I will go for the stiffness matrix. Now, stiffness matrix has an equation k is b transpose into d into b into t into a. So, let me talk about B first. This had the equation. Now, here when I substitute the value of beta and gamma that I have obtained, then I will get 1 upon 17.875 into, this is minus 2.5 and then I complete the entire matrix. So, this is the matrix that I obtained. Now, when I multiply this inside, it is actually dividing each term by 17.875. I'll obtain this as my b matrix i have to calculate b transpose as well so here this is b and for transpose my row will become column and column will become row now one thing which you need to note here is this is a three by six matrix i have three rows and six columns this is my b transpose this will be 6 by 3 matrix because I have 6 rows and 3 columns. Now, another term which is required here is D. 
I had an equation for this as well. So d was e upon 1 minus nu square. I had 1 nu 0, nu 1 0, 0 0, 1 minus nu by 2. When you look at the question, your value of E is given as 200 gigapascal. Now I have to convert this into Newton per centimeter square. This if you observe is 200 into 10 raised to 9 Newton per meter square. So this will be 200 into 10 raised to 9 Newton per centimeter square. Meter to centimeter is 100. So 1 meter square is 10 raised to 4 centimeter square. This becomes 2 into 10 raised to, this is 5 plus 2, 7 Newton per centimeter square. So here I will substitute the value as 2 into 10 raised to 7. The value of nu is given as 0.3. The value of nu is given as 0.3. So this will be 0.3 square. And here I will have 1, 0 0.3, 0, 0 0.3, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1 minus 0 0.3 by 2. When I solve this, I get 21.98 into 10 raised to 6 and here I have 1, 0 0.3, 0, 0 0.3, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0 0.35. This is my D matrix. This matrix is a 3 by 3 square matrix. Now next I will go for solving of this stiffness matrix. I will start with k is equal to, first I will write down t and a. t is 1 and area is 17.875. Now when I write b transpose, I have no term in front of the matrix and this term d alone had a term with it which was 21.98 into 10 raised to 6. So I will just take it outside. Then I'll write down my B transpose. This is a 6 by 3 matrix. Then I'll write down my D term. This is a 3 by 3 matrix. And finally, I'll write down the last term left that is B. This is a 3 by 6 matrix. Now, I will start with multiplication of these two matrices. If you observe, this B transpose is 6 by 3 and D is a 3 by 3 matrix. Now for multiplication of two matrices, I have already told you the rule that is the number of column of the first matrix should be equal to the number of row of the second matrix. When these two numbers are equal, only and only then multiplication is possible. And then further you can decide that the resultant matrix will have order by taking up the number of row from here and number of column from here. So my resultant of these two matrices will be a 6 by 3 matrix. Now this analysis before calculating is very important because accordingly you will be allocating space for writing which I told you before also is very important while solving FEA and apart from that you should know as to what should be your order of the matrix and also if the multiplication is really possible. So when I start with this two, when I multiply these two terms, I get k is equal to 392.9 into 10 raised to 6 and then I will be multiplying these two. Now I know my resultant is 6 by 3 which means I will have 6 rows and 3 columns. So I can allocate the space accordingly at the start itself. So I have 6 rows here and 3 columns. I will be multiplying the first row, first column to obtain this value. If you see it is 0 0.07 into 1, 0 into this term and this term into 0. So I got this number directly. For the next value over here, I will have first row this value, this value into this value and this value into this value which should give me this number. So here I obtain minus 0 0.021. Accordingly you can multiply first row, third column and get this value as minus 0 0.0. 539. Same way you can multiply second row, first column here, get the value. Second row, second column, this value. Second row, third column, this value. And accordingly you can solve and get the rest of the values. So I'll just show you the matrix now. So this is the matrix that I obtained. This is 6 by 3. 
and after multiplication of these two this matrix is left so i'll just write it down again this matrix is a 3 by 6 matrix now i will be multiplying these two as these two are only left i'll check these two are equal so my resultant is a 6 by 6 matrix Now for multiplication, I will multiply first row, first column. I will multiply this term into this term, this into this and this into this. Add them, whatever value I get, I will place here. Accordingly, first row, second column, get the value. First row, third column, get the third value. First row, fourth column, get the fourth value. And so on and so forth, I can multiply and get the rest of the terms. So this is the value of stiffness matrix that I obtained after multiplying the two matrices and this value remains outside. So next I will write down the equation of force. We know K into U is equal to F. So I will write down the equation of K. So I will just multiply this value inside and multiply with each of the terms. I will just take 10 raised to 6 outside and I will multiply the 392.9 inside and I get the matrix as, so this is my stiffness matrix. Next, I will write down here U1, V1, U2, V2, U3, V3 is equal to here I will have F1X These are the forces at 3 nodes in X and Y direction now next I am going to impose the boundary conditions. I know the value of u1, v1, u2, v2, u3, v3. These are the values. Now I am going to substitute these values here and then I will calculate the value of f1x, f1y, f2x, f2y, f3x and f3y. So I will give you the values directly now. I think you can form the equations and solve. f1x I obtain as 617.8 kN. F2x I obtain as minus 1450 kN and F3x I obtain as 830.9 kN. I get F1y as 395 kN. I obtain F2y as minus 71 kN and F3y as minus 330 kN. So these are the value of reaction forces at the three nodes in x and y direction. Now I have obtained the values so I also need to check. So I will go for my check step. Summation of force in x direction should be 0. So I will have f1x, f2x plus f3x. The value I obtain after adding the three values is minus 1.3 kN. This is approximately equal to 0. And summation of force in y direction should be 0. So I'll add F1y plus F2y plus F3y. When I add the three values, I obtain 6 kN. Now this can be also approximated to 0. Now you were asked why these are 0. They are not actually. But when you compare these values, you can approximately say that these are 0. So I have tallied or checked my solution. Next I'll go for stress calculation. I know sigma is equal to B into E and this E is nothing but B into U. This is my sigma. Now I also need to calculate this EX, EY and gamma XY. This is B into U. So this value of B is something that is already known to me. I just rewrite. Now this is my B matrix. I also need to multiply it with U. So with this you can just write down. It is U1, V1, U2, V2, U3, V3. Now these values of displacement are already known. So I can directly multiply these two matrices. If you want to know if my, uh, multiplication is possible. This is a 3 by 6 matrix. And this is a 6 by 1 matrix. So if you observe 6 and 6, they are equal. So my resultant matrix will be a 3 by 1 matrix. Now when I multiply this, I obtain 10 raised to minus 3 common 
ट्वेंटी पॉइंट फोर विद नेगेटिव साइन जीरो एंड माइनस टू पॉइंट एट दिस इज थ्री बाई वन मैट्रिक्स दिस इज द वैल्यू ऑफ ई एक्स ई वाई एंड गामा एक्स वाई ना दिस मैट्रिक्स आई कैन मल्टीप्लाई ओवर हियर द वैल्यू ऑफ डी मैट्रिक्स इज ऑलरेडी नोन टू मी आई हैव ऑलरेडी कैलकुलेटेड दैट सो वैन आई जस्ट मल्टीप्लाई दीज टू आई गेट द वैल्यू ऑफ सिगमा सो लेट मी राइट डाउन द इक्वेशन ऑफ सिगमा इलाबरेटली आई हैव सिगमा एक्स सिगमा वाई एंड टाउ एक्स वाई इज इक्वल टू द इक्वेशन फॉर डी इज ट्वेंटी वन पॉइंट नाइन एट इंटू टेन रेज टू सिक्स आई हैव दिस टेन रेज टू I write on the D matrix one zero point three zero zero point three one zero 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 point three five and this matrix over here. Now let's check if the multiplication is possible. This is a three by three matrix, and this is a three by one matrix. These two numbers are equal, so my resultant matrix will be a three by one matrix. So when I solve this, I will get sigma x as minus four four eight three point five newton per mm square. I get sigma y as minus one three four five point zero five newton per mm square, and tau x y as minus two one five point three eight newton per mm square. so this is how the numerical is supposed to be solved i hope you have understood the numerical with this i end the session see you in the next session thank you mm -hmm.